a tease of Egyptian government parliament. The Egyptian government cracked down on NGOs because, according to Shmal, some officials in the government blame these organizations for the 2011 revolution by generating demands for democracy and social activism in Egypt. NGOs have felt exposed since late 2011, when authorities raided 17 pro-democracy and rights groups, accusing them of joining a foreign conspiracy against Egypt. Social Solidarity Minister Gada Whaley, whose ministry regulates the NGO sector, said, the government will submit official comments on the law. A case against dozens of Egyptian NGOs and lawyers was never closed but remained largely dormant until this year when a court in September approved a freeze on the assets of five human rights activists and three NGOs accused of receiving foreign funds. Agati later said the government would submit notes on Parliament's bill but there was no conflict with Parliament and Speaker Ali Abdallah welcomed the government's amendments. Thousands protest South Korean president as older conservatives grumble Seoul Hundreds of thousands of demonstrators took to the streets of Seoul on Saturday in the fourth straight weekend of protest against embattled President Park Chung hye The charges stem from a police raid earlier this year on the union's headquarters to arrest two journalists wanted for their protests against Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi's decision to transfer Egyptian sovereignty over two strategic Red Sea islands to Saudi Arabia. Affecting some 40,000 different NGOs, according to the Egyptian Ministry of Social Solidarity, this new law will replace the older one that was adopted some 14 years ago requiring organizations to register with the government. Noncompliance to the new law can result in jail terms of up to five years and fines of roughly $65,000, according to Ahmed. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.